Hi, I'm Dr. Rasya from Dr. Dikshit Cosmetic Clinic, Bangalore. Isotretinoin is the gold standard medicine for the treatment of nodulocystic or severe acne. In this acne, which has got a lot of cysts and a lot of scarring associated with it, we need an efficient medicine which can permanently reduce the oil secretion of the oil gland itself. When we are looking at that, one of the most common side effects which happens with isotretinoin use is the lips become dry and they tend to chap and peel and the skin as well tends to become dry. And this is one of the most common side effects and if we do not experience it, we feel that the dose of isotretinoin is not adequate enough. So what is it that the doctors usually do to combat this? First thing is that they will tell you to use a very pH balanced soap free face wash or a face cleanser and to use a, a sulphate and a paraben free moisturizer 3 to 5 times a day. Also, it is very important that this dry skin is not exposed to extremes of weather. So, please use a sunscreen which in addition to this moisturizer and this soap-free face wash. The third thing that you can do for the lips is to use like a chemical-free basic petroleum jelly based lip balm. And this can be used 3 to 5 times a day. When the lips go dry, the natural tendency is to lick the lips or to peel the lips with your fingers or with your teeth. When this happens, um, remember that the saliva has a lot of digestive enzymes which can actually digest the skin of the lip and make the whole peeling problem worse. So make sure that instead of licking the lips, sip on water and use a lot of lip balm. These are the common things that you can do to help with the redness and the peeling of the skin which is associated with isotretin.